Hi everyone, welcome back to Investing with Saran. As I said in this series, every week I'll be quickly updating everyone on what occurred within my dividend growth portfolio. As many of you returning subscribers know, I have two goals for this portfolio right now. For those that don't know, this includes reaching 25k worth of deposits in my TFSA and reaching $1,000 in monthly dividend income. YouTube has also added a new feature for everyone called subscribing to channels. So I suggest everyone that's watching this video to click that button down below and help me on my way to reach a 400 subs. Now let's get straight into this video. This was a very slow week compared to the weeks prior. With cryptocurrency and other inflationary assets flowing down this week, most stocks this week were very stagnant. With these stagnant stocks, I focused on buying stocks that were down during this week. But now, let's jump into the portfolio to see the deposits, the buys, the sells, the dividends received, the best performing stocks, and the worst performing stocks of this dividend growth portfolio this week. The current balance of my portfolio went down to around $20,500 with around $9,250 in my Wellsimple trade account and $11,250 in my Quest trade account. I didn't add any deposit this week, but I bought two stocks this week and that was Algonquin Power Corp Corporation and Vanguard S&P 500 Index ETF. I bought one share of AQN at $17.78 and one share of VFV at $104. Fortunately, within this week, we have got a dividend to help recuperate the cash that we, that we spent on these two stocks. This included a $5.09 payment from Smart Center's Real Estate Investment Trust. I also sold one stock this week, and that was Manulife. I sold 15 shares of MFC at $24.97. Now we'll be looking at the top three worst performing and three best performing stocks this week. The three worst performing stocks are BABA with a 15.87% market loss, DMG Blockchain Solution with a 13.73% market loss, and Drone Delivery Canada Corporation with a 7.37% market loss. The three best performing stocks for me this week are Apple with 7.04% market gain, Nokia with a 2.29% market gain, and Alimentation Kushtar with a 1.47% market gain. Now that you've known what happened this week, join me on Saturday and Monday for my third month update of Small Account Growth Investing Challenge, as well as my sixth update for this portfolio. With that information, make sure you punch that subscribe button down below and drop a like. Remember to click on a notification bell so you don't miss any of my videos. It's Chris Saran, and join me on my next video. Bye for now.